Chapter 7! Uh, that disappeared really fast. A few weeks later. Oh, we're building this shit again! Is everyone ready? Yes, everyone will be there. What the hell was that sound? But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. We must be thankful for all of this. For each noise, each face that disturbs us here. We shall start with the chancel, then gradually work our way from east to west. That's the way it's done. The way I was taught to do it. Hey, that's I Francis. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason, but so far we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet. Neither you nor anyone else. May I show you some drawings? By all means. Okay, is is that like his gonna be his way of uh, convincing us? Uh, to be the one that's gonna build uh, the cathedral? Alrighty, everyone. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and check uh, on the drawings, I guess. <laughs> have a nice day. Couldn't have uh, sneezed. Uh, couldn't have started uh, the recording after he sneezed or something. But who knows or when he's going to be who's going to sneeze? <laughs> Didn't know it was coming. A frontal view of the church. It's less abstract uh, than the floor plan. Could be a good place to start. Floor plan. The outline uh, for the foundation. This is where construction begins. But for layman, it may be hard uh, to comprehend. Uh, what's not to comprehend? I think it's clear enough. The side view of one of the aisles uh, walls. It helps to understand proportion. Maybe I should begin here. Side view for, uh... So this, this, and this, I guess? Look here first. If you were facing the cathedral with the front wall torn down, you would see it like this. Interesting. What's that? Coming out from above the entrance? Coming out from above the entrance? No need to mention the foundation. It's very deep and a lot of work. But I'd rather focus on more um, impressive details. The nave. I drew it almost impossibly high. I had to. The prior needs uh, to be impressed. These are the alice too. Uh, round uh, top to archways. Half the height of the of the nave. Their stone vaults provide support uh, to the nave. That's the roof. Uh, I won't tell him about uh, the ceiling yet. You can never afford uh, a curved stone vault. I think we can afford everything. So, so a simple timber. So a simple timber a ceiling will have to do. It's either three halves or uh, double the height of the nave. A higher tower is uh, more impressive, but also more costly. Uh. 
show him the nave, I guess? The nave will be about 32 feet high and will appear even higher. Drawing the eye heavenward with its loftiness. Well said. A chamber worthy of God. I always wondered how walls this high could hold up so well. Uh, because of the, the foundation. Uh, we're not going to be able him... Uh, we're not going to show him the foundation. Do you recognize the aisles? Of course. I've been in quite a few churches in my time. Did you know then that their purpose is to support the nave? Fascinating. I must say, you do know your craft, Master Builder. We're not going to mention the roof, I guess? The That's tower. the tower, of course. I thought so, but why is it right above the nave? Shouldn't it be closer to the transept? Oh, don't be fooled. The tower is, of course, farther back, but one can't show depth in a drawing. Ah, of course. How high will it be? Uh... Was it, did he say uh, three halves? Three halves of the nave. That sounds reasonably modest. What about the other drawings? When we say three halves, it looks like it's double the destination, actually. It's uh, twice the size of the nave. Let me know when you've decided on the tower's height. Well, first, I have to decide if you are even the right man for the job, haven't I? Damn. The Lord will be satisfied with a knave like this. That is only for the Lord to know. Uh, not many understand the importance of the Isles. I can imagine. Well, that's it, pretty much. And I'm gonna start with the, uh... With here, I guess? Imagine you're standing in the center of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Are those... windows? Right. But that's not all. The arcade, the bottom half, is hardly a well at all. It's rough columns, uh, joined by arcs. Light shines past the arcade and into the nave. Alright. The Tribune Gallery. Three windows above each arc of the arcade. No light will come uh, through here. Behind them is uh, the lean-to-roof uh, the aisle. The lean uh, to roof off the aisle. Clerestory? What's that? I don't know what the hell. Uh, what the hell is that? It's actually pronounced clear story. This is not how you pronounce clear, though. <laughs> clear story. Well, I guess you learn something uh, every day. The upper part of the nave, choir and uh, transepts of a large church contains a series of windows. A series of windows uh, in another large building that are similar to those in the clear story. A raised section of a roof running down the center I should uh, uh, increase the size of the text here a raised section of the roof running down the center of the railway carriage with small windows or ventilators all right clear story it's uh like I understand what it is it's, uh, kind of a uh, kind of a catwalk but, uh, 
Mm, usually it's oh, usually it just uh, uh, gonna be uh, parallel to the windows at least, which is uh, that's that. Clear story windows light the nave from the above. In size, they make up two thirds. Two thirds of the upper half. Okay. That's smaller than the arcade and twice the size of the gallery. On the lowest level are the pillars of the arcade. They're joined by arches making up the bays. Through the archways you can see the windows in the aisle. The bays of the arcade will all be handled equally, spanning the length of the entire building. It's gotta be really hard. I can understand that uh, doing s things like that in the older days is definitely... It's definitely hard. Starting right in the middle is the Tribune Gallery. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Keep going. And was he not impressed? Any further questions concerning the gallery? No. On top are the clear story windows. I can see you have put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Eight to ten years with sixty masons. Fifteen years with thirty masons. Uh, I I really don't know. I don't know the answer. Why would the game assume that I actually know the answer? Eight to ten years years with sixty masons. Hmm. I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I would know if I actually read the book. Uh... Well, that depends on how many people you employ. If you can afford 60 masons, you could build the whole church at once instead of working from east to west. That might take eight years, maybe ten. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. Hmm. Well, I guess that was that. Let me tell you more about the walls. The clear story makes up two thirds of the upper half. It's important that the wall is well proportioned to hold and to look beautiful. Well, that's it, pretty much. Last thing is going to be the uh, floor plan. When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be, the pillars the doors and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this to tell us where to place our pegs and string. Is this how birds would see our church? Exactly. Mm. The chancel. The chancel faces the uh, sunrise uh, in the east. I want to be... I want it to be four bays, uh, four bays long, enough to look impressive without uh, uh, costing too much. The transept. Transept gives the church its uh, cross-like shape. Here it starts right in the middle. 
are to, uh, right in the middle towards the, ch uh, the chancel. With two bays, it's perfectly, uh, what? Perfectly proportioned. And the nave. The nave uh, points west. And it has six bays. That should be easy enough to understand. Well, might as well start with the nave. The nave is on the left. It has six bays. And the chancel. Well, I guess the chancel is the... Uh, is what he wants to, to know about. The chancel will have four bays. Hmm. 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 I can see the transept is two bays wide, so it will be twelve in total. It does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? Well, can you afford to build it bigger? I have trouble affording it at all. Percy Hamley would support us with timber and stone, but how do we pay the workers? But only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. Three thousand pounds, uh, at the least. <laughs> Wording is very important, by the way, viewers. We're pretty much saying the same thing, but uh, we have uh, optimism here, which is uh, it, it definitely uh, it depend on uh, who are you talking to. Like no more than three thousand. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a uh, a lot. So it's it's gonna depend, really. I know exactly how much this would cost. It would be no more than £3,000. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the Priory. Here's the answer. £300 a year. And we spend every penny. So, I need to find £200 a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. You really want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? Yes, Father. I want you to appoint me Master Builder. Why? Because I've seen it uh, done badly. Because I want to fulfill my... to fully exercise my skill. This gives me a meaning to... Uh, because it gives meaning to a man's life. I think I'll go with this. Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church, what image would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? One of... Judgment Day to teach people to be good, or one of paradise to remind them of God's mercy. Show them hell so that they're afraid to do bad things. Whoa, <laughs> mm, <I'd laughs> that's, see trees and animals. that's pretty metal. <laughs> I remind them uh, of God's mercy. It should be the promise of a better life, therefore. It will show heaven. Yes. This is quite exciting, isn't it, brother? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Francis. I'm just glad that I can be a part of this. In the past year, I was often afraid that my involvement in politics might turn out... Well... Now, let's not talk about that. You already did enough. Let's just say that I'm glad that I can still be by your side, Philip. And for that, I thank God. And I thank you, too. Papa, will there be statues inside? Uh, no. Statues? Oh, 
That's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Well, I guess I, other than Jesus yes, on a cross. My first wife, Agnes. She died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel, or founds a monastery, in the hope that in the afterlife, God will remember his piety. I just wonder... Do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul? God no longer asks for blood sacrifices, for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made. But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer, that which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children, yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. Contract of employment. Well, I guess uh, we got the job, huh? Nice. All right, let's go ahead and inspect to the contract of employment. I'm going to do a, few, a little bit of reading here. Contract dated February 1st, uh, 1136. I, Philip of uh, uh, Gwyneth, in representation of Kingsbridge Priory, hereby assign Tom Builder as Master Builder for the construction of Kingsbridge Cathedral. The Priory will provide £200 a year uh, to be used uh, wholly for materials and craftsmen. The pace of construction shall be adjusted accordingly and adhere to plans approved by the prior. Uh, in exchange for his work, Tom Builder and his family are to receive a private house and the right to attend all common meals of the Priory. The contract is uh, subject to change with the Priory's financials uh, and gives a future prospect. Of additional payment to compensate uh, for the Master Builder's work. Signed, Prior Philip of Gwyndith and Tom Builder. Nice. Ooh. Mm, the building is uh, on its way. That's cool. Oh, we're gonna play as Jack. Since we have the uh, sling, uh, the slingshot. Why is he so friendly all of a sudden? I don't know. He can eat a fat dick. He hasn't hit me in weeks. Whoa! He was hitting you? Am I scaring him? I think she started to like it here. Even with all the, the noise. And the monks. Hole in the ground. Tom said it takes uh, many years to build a uh, cathedral. But only one night uh, to burn it down. <laughs> I guess you know that uh, pretty well, huh? Did I do right? Unfriendly monks. I don't like them. Even Andrew? Well, I guess I can understand Remigius, but Andrew? They always uh, shout at me as if uh, I was stupid. I'm not talking to them. I don't like them. House of the Prior. Thumb can draw uh, so well. I must watch him very, very closely. Till I can draw like that too. And stables. Where did they put all the horses? Uh, what should we do? Here. I guess we can interact with our mother and Alfred, and that's about it. Where's Tom? We can't see Tom. I cannot see Tom at all. 
There's an exit there, though. Let's go ahead and talk to our, uh, to our mama. Jack, do me a favor and give Paul these herbs, will you? But he's a monk. You don't like monks. Well, it turns out not all of them are bad. <laughs> Still, be careful before you trust any one of them. Well, your son already trusted me. Hell no. Oh, yes. I know that the Builder is not his father, and I also know about you. It won't be long till they throw you out of Kingsbridge. Witch. Wow. Oh, that guy's a piece uh, there of shit. He is. Give her a prior the welcome he deserves. Oh, um, you know, I am only following God's will. Prepare to raise the bell. Make the prior proud. <laughs> well, um, thank you. Go on, Jack. Don't forget about Paul's herbs. <laughs> well, I guess everyone knows, uh, uh, Philip, uh, because uh, he's pretty much feeding them. Mother gave me these uh, sage leaves. Oh, what if I talk to her again? Off you go, Jack. Don't let old Paul wait. He's at the bridge. All right, I guess we have an objective. Off you go, Jack. Don't let old. Hmm. Can talk to. Uh... Philip's crowd. Can I talk to uh, Philip? They clapped their hands uh, for Philip, as if they wanted everyone to hear that uh, he was coming. So much noise. That's understandable. What do you want? I want to help. Uh. Sure. I want to help. Too bad. There's nothing you can do. I don't get why Tom likes you, you useless little turd. Sure. <laughs> For all I know, you were behind that fire. Damn, how did he know? What? What is it? I could set fire to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not say that. Nothing. I'm leaving now. Uh-huh. Let's not make things worse. Yeah, let's make the let's now make things uh, more, you know, more bad than they already uh, are. Uh, yeah, pretty much I cannot do anything well, other than... I promise Mother not to fight anymore. <laughs> Shucks. That's Paul. Oh, I guess that's the only uh, place that we can go. Right? Oh, look. Uh, it's uh, spring and uh, oh, the, the area looks uh, really good. Green everywhere. Everybody's uh, building houses and, wh and whatnot, so that's good, I guess. He looks like an old tree. I think he's an ancient... Uh, uh, he's as ancient as the forest. One day, I'll be just like him. Well, people think that uh, being gold is a gift, which uh, which still is, yeah. Especially in older times, people, you know, the average uh, life expectancy definitely <laughs> uh, was definitely uh, around the uh, late thirties. The average, that is. Let's talk to him before we hand him anything. Oh, good day, boy. If you see your mother, tell her the pain's gotten worse. I think I might take her up on our offer now. Oh, oh don't you ever get as old as I am, boy. Tis not natural. Hmm. I heard, I heard that before, actually. I heard that uh, 
But I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with it because uh, the re some people think that's actually getting uh, that old is unnatural. And the reason for that is just your body's gonna crack. Like how can you like what's the uh, what's the point of actually being alive but not you know not being able to move around and whatnot? But I think uh, that's a responsibility that uh, we held because. Uh, I've already seen an example of people in their 90s and being actually, you know, in shape. Uh, I guess uh, it's just people, you know, not taking care of their bodies, which is something that I'm uh, actually actively trying to do uh, well. Like, I'm actually doing, like, uh, every day I do, uh, like, a, a 12 kilometer jog every day, viewers. Uh, yeah, that's why. Uh, you, you might hear me uh, tired all the time because <laughs> these playing session I always do these uh, way later in the day where I am uh, the only thing that I care of is uh, care about is just uh, head the sack and get uh, get some rest you know prepare for uh, prepare prepare for the next jog but yeah I think uh, I think you owe it to yourself uh, yeah to be in good shape. All right, let's go ahead and give uh, Paul uh, these herbs. This is from my mother. Oh, bless her, boy! Whatever Remedia says, your mother is a saint. Oh, is that the bell? Can you see it from here? Yep. A bell without a cathedral. Your father certainly had strange ideas. <laughs> it might be. What's a bell? Uh, you don't see that thing? Oh, hey! Excuse me. Aliena! You. I remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. I thought you weren't the Builder's son. Well, I am now. I have to say... Why Philip told me there would be a lot of sheep here. I can see he wasn't exaggerating. You know Philip too? I do. He's the reason I'm here. Is he around? He should be around somewhere. Busy man, that fellow. But don't worry. You probably won't have to look for him for long. All right. Thank you. Damn, Jack might be a... Uh, I don't know, man. Might be growing up. <laughs> Maybe he's now fancying Galliana. I don't blame him. Uh-oh. Who the hell is this guy? <sighs> Shall we go after them? Walter? No. Now we know where we can find them. Ha! Ho! Whoa. My bishop, William. Hamley has returned to see you. Send him in, Timothy. We have much to discuss. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what are these uh, events uh, foreshadowing some doom and gloom to the to the party? I really wonder. Chapter seven.
the rise of Kingbridge. But you did. You gave an optimistic uh, estimation of the cost of uh, construction. You can choose an image of paradise for the new cathedral's uh, tympanum. Nobody found out about Francis' involvement in the conspiracy. I guess. Lady Aliena. What does she want to talk to Philip? Bishop Welleran began uh, scheming against Kingridge. You finished book one. All right. So I guess we finished the third... Uh, uh, the one-third of the game. Two-thirds to go. Next time on the Pillars of the Earth, find out what happened to me and my brother Richard after the siege of our father's castle. What will the future hold in store for Kingsbridge? Oh. The Pillars of the Earth, sowing the wind. Oh, is this game was supposed to be like uh, episodic? Huh. Well, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I guess that makes sense. I, I really didn't know that this uh, this game was actually um, was uh, episodic. I do have all of them, by the way, viewers, so uh, I really don't understand, like, uh, oh, well, I guess if that's how the game is programmed, then this is it. Well, um, there's no use for me to actually talk about, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, do uh, some sort of uh, a review for the section that we played. Because, uh, you know, it's uh, since we're we're about to, put, to finish... The, we're about to actually continue with the game regardless. It's, it's meaningless to talk about the game at this point. Other than I actually want to see more of it. Yeah. I really want to see more of uh, this game. That's for sure. Now you press escape. I press escape here, but yeah. Uh, next up, viewers. Book number two. The Sewing Wind. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start with the book number two, viewers. Sewing of the Wind. Uh, I think I just... The only thing that I need to do is just start book rather than... Yeah, uh, rather than actually uh, load the saved games. Load the uh, saved game. I don't... I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh... I don't think there's gonna be... Well, well I guess, yeah, we're gonna continue from here, I guess. My name is Aliena of Shiring. Okay. I'm the daughter of the Earl Bartholomew of Shiring. At least, I used to be, before my father was arrested for conspiring against the king. And a Whoa. man I had once refused to marry took control of everything my family had ever owned, including ourselves. Earl's Castle. I wonder if uh, five weeks earlier. Oh, yeah. This is what I, what I actually thought. I think that's what's about to be uh, like. Uh, it's, we're gonna cover some of the uh, some of what happened uh, during uh, this, uh, the siege. She is where you put her, you fiend. <laughs> Once the king finds out. Here's the key. Now go get her. I'm starving. Uh, I think uh, it might be a <laughs> a good idea to get the hell out of here. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, so you can actually see that I'm. Uh, yeah, started the recording uh, in <laughs> in the middle of a pause menu, 
here, but I had to do that because uh, while loading in this section, there are going to be a certain events that are going to happen, and we're going to be timed a little bit here. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh, and there are going to be a few dialogues that's going to come in. I was actually preparing to start the recording and the events uh, just happened. And uh, so before we actually do that, I um, decided to actually go back, load uh, load uh, at the very beginning of this section and to try and uh, check the area around before we uh, before we continue on with the uh, with the event. So uh, pretty much someone is uh, knocking on our door asking uh, asking us to come down. William Hamley is back. He wants to see you. Yeah, and it's William Hamley, viewers. May I enter? He has me asleep here while Richard is chained uh, in the stables. I'd rather be there than this close to William. Please, you mustn't make him wait. My robes, my dress, all gone. Uh, Regent Hamley took them. She wants them to uh, resawn my robes. What's taking so Regent long? Regent Hamley took them. I'm yep. sorry, but I have to come in. Yeah, we cannot. That's uh. These are the events. I wonder if I can load back and actually get what's inside them. But uh, she that's mentioned that everything is. Uh, everything uh, like what Regent took I everything. Dear God, did he hit you? Well, I suppose he's getting more daring now that his father is about to see the king. This is taking too long. Go get them. Right. Milady, I must ask you, do not provoke him. Not yet. Not until you're properly armed. Properly armed? Uh... Where's uh, my brother? It treated like a dog. I gave him a cloak so he wouldn't have to freeze through that storm. There are weapons hidden in the yard. Near the gate, look for a red piece of cloth. All right. Get down here, and no talking. And don't cause any trouble. I just cleaned my sword. I gotta be honest, she definitely sounds, uh... She, uh, d uh, she sounds a little bit older than her age. Uh, Matthew had some weapons next to a piece of red cloth. Finally. Just because I allowed you to sleep in my room doesn't mean you can make yourself cozy in there. That's not your room. Ugh, what's with your face? Your arrogance makes you ugly. Did you know that? Uh, you reap what you sow? You reap what you sow? Oh, there are a few things I would like to sow with you. She didn't what does that even mean? <laughs> Your father will be the new Earl soon. This castle will be yours. There's no need to keep the lady and her brother hostage. Maybe you should consider letting us go. Matthew. It's all right. I can speak for myself. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna try not to provoke him. Oi, Walter. Looks like the princess needs a servant to do her talking. Can't imagine why I ever wanted to marry that ugly boar. Wow. A real lady. That's what I deserve. Maybe even Empress Maud. Yes, I'll marry the Empress. But I'll keep on fucking her. Why don't we start right here on your father's table? Don't. Not until your father's spoken to the king. You go, go outside, get some air. Uh, it's better than uh, s staying with him, right. I guess. I shall do so gladly. Anything you need, William? Tell the bitch to get me something to eat. I'm starving. You heard him. Go now. 
Well, I guess we cannot poison him or anything. Hamley wants me to get uh, him some food. Damn, that's her brother. He's chained. I always told you your stubbornness would be your end. <sighs> what the hell was that? Can she see the future or something? Get food for uh, William Hamley. That's Richard. Where's the red cloth? Oh, that's uh, w Walter, though. We cannot do anything. This is where uh, we store the food. Well, this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna play as Aliena. I wonder if she's gonna offer something uh, different or interesting. Used to be home. I feel watched. Investigating the cart near the gate, Matthew said. I uh, cannot see shit, but I guess uh, we're not going to be able to interact with anything uh, at the moment. Where's Richards? These animals. How can they do such a thing? Richards is far too young to cause them trouble. Uh, is he younger than you? 